The college phenom, known as Caitlin Clark, reportedly offered a whopping $5 million to join the big three. That's a men's three-on-three -three league founded by Ice Cube. He sees it as a win-win. We think with a move like this, you know, all boats rise, you know, with the tide. So we think this will put the league in a different stratosphere. Um, and, you know, everybody across the board in the league would benefit. Joining me now, CNN contributor, Carrie Champion. Carrie, so good to see you tonight. I mean, that's a hell of a figure, $5 million. Should she take the offer? I, I would not take the offer if I were her. I, I, got, I have a few issues here with this. The first of it is that I hear what Ice Cube is saying, all boats rise with the tide. He's suggesting it helps his league. He suggests it helps women's basketball, the NBA. I just don't believe that Caitlin needs to play with a bunch of retired men to prove her value and what she's worth. In fact, the reason why he's asking for it, because we are getting ready to watch in real time, he's asking for Caitlin Clark to be on the big three because she's gonna really help in so many different ways in bringing the WNBA into a new level. Otherworldly talented, Laura, this girl is. You know, that part is so important because so often people will say, oh, that person's a great athlete but could she beat a man, right? You had the three-point shootout with Steph Curry and Ionescu over the All-Star Game weekend. I thought that was a really important moment and a lot of fun to watch, frankly, especially to have Steph Curry really battling it out with her. And then you had all this belittling by sports broadcasters, including Kenny Smith, who really um, just diminished her performance to her to shoot from the women's line. You make a good point about the idea of why do women have to prove themselves only in relation to men? Yeah, it's unfortunate, especially in this sport. I often am asked, Laura, and you'll you'll understand. Give me your top five athletes, and I and I will put Serena in that with a hands down any day. And they're like, no, no, no. I mean, the the guys, you know, that that those. And that's just not fair. And that, this is why I truly believe one. There were two things that happened with this offer. Sabrina, excuse me, uh, Caitlin does not need to uh, play in the big three for her value. Also, Ice Cube. What about all the other women that are currently in the WNBA? Did you skip right over them? Uh, Asia Wilson, for instance, who is another otherworldly player. I want everybody to sit down, take a beat and a break. I enjoy Caitlin Clark too, but she's not the best thing since sliced bread. There are other people to get some sunshine as well. So I think she'll be smart and probably make more money if she goes to the WNBA with merchandising and licensing and all the different things, name, image, and likeness. She could make more money, I'm sure. But that goes to the same point, though. Her making that much money, even at the WNBA and endorsements, will still be a huge distance from other talented athletes. Why do you think that is? You know, I think that in this country, we are slow, especially when it comes to acknowledging women in sports. I, I shared with you off camera just the other day, I had an opportunity to be greeted by Madam Vice President, and she was honoring women in sports uh, because of Women's History Month. And what we're realizing is, is that all that was needed was just a little more time and attention. And every now and again, you get a player that breaks through, but until then there's this, there's this huge gap. And it's in not just in sports, but in other disciplines and other institutions in which we work and live in. And so it's going to stay that way, at least for now, but we're, it's leveling out lower on the college level. The NIL, the, the women players are making just as much as the men. And I love it. And we're going to catch up. It's I, I, I don't know if we'll see a day where it's equal, but it'll be commensurate. Well, certainly commensurate would be the well, one of the goals. But looking ahead, you know, Caitlin Clark is not a part of the WNBA. Her team is, is not yet, you know, crowned champions. If they will win, that's up in the air still. Do you think that the attention that she gets is going to make it a diff more difficult experience for her if she does get to the WNBA? Oh, this is, oh, such a great question. I want to tell you a question that we have had in our friendship groups uh, when I am texting with other friends that are in the business. And last night, I had a really good friend of mine said, there is something about her. Like, you know, let's just put all the fanfare aside. There is something about her that makes me think that all she's interested in is playing ball. She doesn't care about the limelights, the attention, the NIL, the money. Yes, that will come. But there is a purity in her heart when she plays and I have, I, I'm hard, I would have a hard time believing that she just wouldn't excel. She is 
you know, for lack of a better term, forgive me in your audience, she's a dog. She has it in her. And so when I watch her play, I'm thinking that's all she cares about. I just don't believe she will not succeed at that next level. Well, from your lips to her three point <laughs> shots, Carrie Champion, thank you so much. Nice to see you as always. Yeah.